here's the practical part all the inputs and outputs exactly where you need them rear panel hdmi in one main digital av input for blu-ray streamers and modern consoles hdmi into dvi accepts hdmi as normal or a dvi to hdmi video feed from a pc or older hd box when using dvi pair it with the adjacent dvi slash hdmi analog audio inputs red slash white for sound component video plus left and right audio high quality analog hd input for legacy gear like older game consoles or dvd players are set to 720 apc axt scart x2 on most european s3r models full bandwidth rgb scart on ex1 for the cleanest sd from vcrs satellite boxes or retro console ext2 typically supports composite s video with stereo audio pc rgb slash d sub 15 pin plus pc audio 3.5 mm for direct vga connection from laptops and desktops set the pc to 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz and enable just scan for perfect one-to-one -one pixel mapping digital audio out optical spdif pass dolby digital or pcm from the tv to a soundbar or audio video receiver amplifier rf antenna in connects your aerial or cable feed for the internal tuner if it is still exists in your part of the world common interface ci slot region dependent for conditional access cam modules used by some broadcasters in past service port technician use not for everyday connectivity just to update the firmware or reset tv to factory settings 